Hey everyone, welcome back. I am T and Eagle. We are now into episode seven of our road to division one. Once again, starting off in our sports news studio before we go and jump into a game, and we are not doing that well in this division. And uh, you know, it, again, it still comes back to uh, what we're doing as far as our formations, what formations are working, and so forth. I mean, I have I have some very good players, and I have some players that obviously could be upgraded, but uh, the star of the show thus far for me has been Daniel Sturridge, without a doubt. And, you know, I think everyone kind of anticipated him being a pretty good player in FIFA this year, as he had an outstanding year last year. But we'll see, uh, you know, going forward what he is going to do in real life. Uh, maybe a little bit more of a struggle this year as opposed to last year due to the loss of his uh, partner in crime, so to speak. But we're going to jump into our first game, and we'll come up against uh, the Skirting. Uh, but he has a team with 89 chemistry, so not a full chem team. It is a BPL team. So, you know, early on and really throughout, um, you're going to see mostly BPL teams, as that's uh, for the large part where you're going to find more of the uh, the well-known popular players uh, at this early point in the game. So, you know, get used to it uh, as far as seeing the BPL teams. But here, you will see a nice pick up there on the rebound uh, from Daniel Sturridge. And once the keeper is out of position in FIFA 15, you can pretty much count on conceding a goal, which is what happened there. And in here, a nice bit of passing, a little bit of one-two back and forth. Nice little skill move from Mr. Sturridge. We'll send it in with a beautiful pass, and that will get finished off by Alexi Sanchez, who I really I have enjoyed playing with him. Uh, it's just a matter of getting him the touches, and I just don't get a ton of touches, uh, again, with my, uh, my outside guy. So... Um, but, you know, it's just a matter of getting used to that. But here is our offensive juggernaut, Leighton Baines, up in a box. But he will pick up the penalty for us. Uh, probably deserved there. I, I would say that could have gone either way. It could have been a, a no call. It could have been a call. Uh, but we did pick up the penalty, and we did step up with Daniel Sturridge. And we will knock that one uh, down as well. So Sturridge having a good game. And now we're just trying to pick up a hat trick with him. We'll get a nice move. Cut it back inside with a fake shot. And there is the hat trick for Daniel Sturridge. So a nice bit of skill there to get inside. Uh, we did the, uh, the new skill spin move uh, to get inside here. And then we'll just fake shot to get around the defender. Fake shot, as always, is very effective. So if that's something that is not in your arsenal, you may want to add that. Because it definitely, uh, it definitely does work. So... Uh, we uh, pretty comfortably walked through that game, and to be quite honest with you, we, we needed a game like that. We needed uh, to win comfortably and, and feel like we know what the heck we're doing out there in both phases of the game. So not only did we pick up the four goals, but I think uh, right now for me, more importantly, we conceded none, uh, which is important. So, uh, you know, again... It's, it's a progress, and I am slowly but surely making that progress. I'm starting to feel pretty pretty good on what I'm doing, and, and now it's just a matter of executing that. So, again, just moving and looking at the the other team that I have, and a couple of those players that you saw there, again, same ones we had last episode, but uh, Fabregas and Falcao. I don't know. You know I'm thinking about moving on and, and possibly, uh, possibly putting them on the market and seeing See what else we can come up with, um, but it, you know we'll just have to see. But here we come up against a fantastic-looking team in the 4-3-3. But uh, Dos Santos up front obviously can cause us some problems, but also Tony Cruz, Kadir in the middle, and you know those guys, especially Cruz, may not be very pacey, but they can shoot, and uh, that can uh, go a long way in this game, obviously. But here. We'll uh, probably over dribble and move around way too much uh, down around the box, but it goes in the back of the net, so we'll take it. Looks good. Well, that's a good way for us to start. So we're up 1 0, and then here, right before halftime, oh, we get a little fortunate there uh, with the defender able to kind of slide in there and block that, uh, but it does get past the keeper and go in. So we have a 2 0 lead heading into halftime. 
uh, and then they'll get the the kickoff here from our goal and just send it forward. So let me let me back it up. We'll have a two one lead going into halftime. So again with the the new the new kickoff glitch is take the ball. It's not really a glitch. I'm just saying it, but it's just take the ball, run past the defenders, and try to get a shot off. And it's it's pretty effective. I got I gotta say so. <laughs> Uh, you know, it, we just have to get used to, again, uh, dealing with that as well. And then uh, I'll concede a late goal, and that will bring it to 2-2. Two, two. So now we're 2-3-3. Two, three, and three. We have two games remaining in the division, and it's just awful. Awful. The way I'm playing right now is, is just awful with these teams, especially with these teams. I mean, I have some very good players. There's no way I should be playing this way, uh, no matter who I, I come up against. I mean, again, I'm not the, the greatest FIFA player in the world, but uh, I have played some very, very good players, and I can hang with them. So that's, uh, it's not a matter of, oh, you know, I'm, I'm awful, uh, you know, which I'm certainly not the best, but I certainly am better than what I am, am showing right now. And, I, you know, I really feel like I've played enough games where I can't use it as an excuse, I just need to go out there and, and play better. It's it's a different game than FIFA 14, and uh, you know I think for the better. It is frustrating. I think uh, more frustrating than FIFA 14, but I think the overall changes, in my opinion, are better this year. So it's just a matter of uh, you know getting getting accustomed to it and uh, and dealing with it. So uh, here in this game, we're going to start off, and that is a great shot there from right at the edge of the box from Sanchez, and he really can shoot very well. And that was my alarm here. Sorry about that. Uh, but that was a great finish from Sanchez to put us up 1-0. And then here, eh, it's stupid. Uh, that was stupid uh, defensively on my part. So, uh, we get the penalty, but there is a huge save for us to maintain the 1-0 lead. And then we'll get it up here going forward, and we will finish that one off as well. Again, using uh, the big shot, guys. And again, I mean, that is just a potent weapon, especially if the defender likes to rush at you. Uh, that is a great maneuver. And then uh, you don't see it much this year, so... You know, obviously, if you're the one that, that crosses it in and gets that header, it is much more uh, gratifying to you offensively. Uh, defensively, that's just frustrating to give that up. So I was unhappy with that. And then here, I mean, welcome to FIFA 15. You get in the box, you finesse it around the keeper. I What, what can you do? There wasn't much I could do there. So it was a great shot uh, from my opponent. Uh, but then straight from kickoff here, you can see, uh, you know, our kickoff mentality, we'll kind of pass it around and hope to get some good lanes. We actually get through, get a great lane, a great pass in from Daniel Sturridge. And Sherla will finish that one off to put us up 3-2. So a bit of back and forth in this game, but, uh, you know, pretty nice pass here from Sturridge. But just a great one-time shot uh, from Sherla to put us up. 3-2, another look at it there. Graphics are just ridiculous. They're amazing this year. So uh, a very nice way for us to finish off that game with a 3-2 victory. That will also finish off this episode, guys. We have one game remaining left in this season to win the title. Make sure you come back probably tomorrow and check out that episode. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. I will talk to you later.